everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a new first impression review for you guys on the Elsie Micro Silk Foundation. So yeah, don't mind my bare face. Um, and my eyebrow, like, I just trimmed, I trimmed it and it looks like this, so I really messed up my eyebrow. Anyways, on to the first impression review. Um, so this is the... I've he, I've been hearing a lot about this foundation uh, by other makeup artists. So I was like, hmm, I'll give it a try. So I did get the shade in vanilla. So I'm hoping um, this matches my shade. I mean, this matches my skin tone. Um, th lately, the sun's been coming out. So I hope I don't get too tan for this foundation. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, I would say, it's on the, not too expensive side, but I guess like the right, um, price range for, um, foundations. It was about like 40, 42 or 45 bucks for this. And it's one fluid ounce. But yeah, um, so the foundation claims that, um, it's lightweight, anti-aging, blendable, long wear, water resistant, mild transfer resistant, non comedogenic hope I pronounce that. Um paraben free, vegan, gluten free, cruelty free, and H D coverage. So yeah, it is matte finish. Um it says that the lightweight application diminishes any skin imperfection and enhances a healthy glow to the skin for a day long coverage with minimal touch ups required. So hopefully I won't need to touch up later. So yeah, um, let's get into applying the foundation. This is with one side on, and this is the other side. Um, I would say that it is pretty lightweight. <clears throat> lightweight. Yeah, it's pretty lightweight. Um, I just like it a bit more coverage, so I'm just going to apply just a little bit more. And this time I'm going to dot my face rather than... um putting on my hand. how it's it's super lightweight um it's still well i just applied but it's still drying just a little bit but other than that it feels really good if it, it feels like i don't have any foundation on at all which is good because i don't like feeling super caked or well I, I tend to cake my face but then i don't like feeling cakey so this works really well like it's so lightweight like i'm not even joking like it doesn't feel like anything's on there so the only thing I would say is if you like full coverage like I do um, you would have to apply um, just a, a little bit more just not too much but uh yeah it's really good like I like it a lot because you can tell like the side's like really red and like I thought it just took everything away Okay, so I will finish my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I apologize, but it is around 5 o'clock right now. Um, I did finish my makeup like a while ago, but then I got a little carried away 
doing a little mini review on this little lash curler. Um, I'll post a link to it down below, but if you want to see a little review on it, um, it is on my Instagram, and my Instagram information will be in my in the description box below. So yeah, anyways, um, so far I'm really liking the foundation. Um, it's really flawless, like like it's super lightweight like I'm not even kidding like I don't feel anything like I barely feel anything and with other foundations I tend to feel a little cakey which I don't like because I have oily skin so this is really good so yeah um I will check back in like tutor to tutor that's not good word. but uh I'll check back in um two to three hours and yeah we'll I'll let you guys know how well this foundation is holding up and let you guys know if I need to do touch-ups or whatever that was on the box. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. Hey everyone, so I am back. It is 8.42 right now. Um, I wanted to check back around 7, but then, um, I was cooking and the oven time, I thought it was... I thought it was 7, but then I guess we didn't change it for daylight savings time. So yeah, it is 8.42 right now. Um, so it's been about like 3 hours. Um, so there hasn't been anything really that I can see that's different about my makeup. Um, the only If you do see shiny parts on my face, it's because of the highlight. And that's about it. Um, I mean... If you look right here, well, I don't know if you see, but like only like this area is a little bit red. But I think it's because I've been rubbing on it, and that's about it. And it's still lightweight. Um, I didn't have there was no need for a touch up. I didn't feel super cakey or oily. Um, this really, so far, this is working really well. So yeah, uh, I'll definitely I'll try to check back in three hours and let you guys know how it goes. Hi you guys, I am back. It is 11.38 p.m. Um, I don't have my phone on me, so I'm just going off from my laptop. So yeah, um, about this foundation, the LC Micro Silk Foundation, I'm seriously loving this foundation. Um, I guess I see what all the hype is about. Um, I'm always nervous about trying foundations, especially when people kind of like hype it up or, you know, whatever they... Like, I see it all over Instagram, and I'm afraid to because sometimes it doesn't work out for me. But this foundation really does work out for me. And I have super, super oily skin. Like, like, it's not even, like I'm not even kidding. But yeah, anyways, off to how my makeup was in the past um, three hours, I think. Um, so far, it's still the same as before. Um, everything is the same. Nothing has budged. I didn't, remember I didn't apply the setting spray, and yeah, it's working really well. Um, again, the shiny places that you, the shiny spots that you see on my face are just highlight. Um, I barely, I'm barely oily, I guess, pretty, only a little bit, but um, anyways, uh, it's very true to its words. I've yet to try out the fact that it is water resistant. But um, I would say it's lightweight. Um, I don't know about anti-aging yet. Um, yes, long wear. Um, but since I've only had it on since about 4 p.m., um, that's about seven seven hour wear. So I don't know yet. Maybe I'll do a look on this and let you guys know because I'll definitely do makeup earlier on than they, not 4 p.m. So yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Um, if you guys want to see any other videos, tutorials, just, you know, feel free to email me or whatever. Um, all the information will be down in the description box down below, in the description box below. And, you know, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, that's why you're watching this, right? Uh, subscribe, um, yeah, just talk to me. And I'll get back to you guys. So yeah, um, until then, I'll see you guys next time.